Well, hi, YouTube. This just popped up. Now, it actually came, um, came out a couple of days ago, but then a bit of a digital detox. And it's Pastor Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales trailer 4. However, when I saw Logan the other week, I it came up as Salazar's Revenge. So it has two titles. I did not know that. I prefer Salazar's Revenge. Dead Man Tell No Tales or Pastor the Caribbean Salazar's Revenge. That's the kind of swashbuckler title. Wind in your hair. No, taste of the sea in your mouth. Crashing waves and swash, you know that. Yeah, that that's a more of a badass title. How I think I liked about it is it brings Salazar, who we never even known about until this might until this time, straight into it. Who is Salazar? What's his revenge? Come on, let's call a title. But again, with Dead Man Tell No Tales at the moment, drop it, Salazar's. Okay, so I did a bit of research on the plot as well. Couldn't help myself, and technically it's Salazar, who is undead and um, more of a ghost type, if you will, and he's looking for this thing called the Trident of Poseidon, and for those who conquer it, will take over the sea. So that's, and also, Brendan Thwaites, who plays a character called Henry, is the son of Will Turner. Yeah. Now, uh, in Puzzle Caribbean 3, there's a little flashback towards, like, a little future, future, not future, whatever, okay, flash forward, if you will. After the credits, where you see Elizabeth and her ten-year-old son, also called Will, Will Turner the Third, if you will, um, waiting for him on like the seashore. So maybe Harry, his his say so Henry is his second name. Um, I don't know. But before I go, I like the idea of this because in the original parts of the Caribbean, um, the curse the the crew of the Black Pearl were like the bogeymen of the sea. Well, it's kind of like the Pirates have their own bogeyman, and that's Captain Salazar. Okay? So, I like the fact, and also, if he is kind of like a ghost, if you will, on IMDb it says he's a ghost, okay? He's a ghost that's come back and trying to take over the sea, but the thing is, as Will Turner is on the Flying Duckman, taking in the role of, of Davy Jones, okay? If he's the one who controls the dead of the sea, and then... You know, it's kind of a bit more ambiguous right now what's going on. Because who is playing who, who is on whose side, and I like the idea of the fact that the pirates have a bogeyman, or Captain Salazar, who's played by Javier Bardem, an actor that I do like. I don't think that much of Skyfall, but I thought quite a lot of his performance, and whatever you say about the man, he's married to Penelope Cruz. So now, whatever you say about this, just think of this. He gets to go home every night with Penelope Cruz. Javier Bardem is the luckiest man in human history. That's all I'm going to say. So here we go. Dead Man Tell No Tell. Salazar's Revenge. Mm -hmm. Pirates had infected the seas for generations. So I vowed to eliminate them all. Jack Sparrow cursed me. Are you sure you're the Z, Jack Sparrow? For his enhance, a great pirate does not require such intricacies. Find Sparrow. Karina is the only one who can help us. I'm not looking for trouble. What a horrible way to live. Ah! I'm a woman of science. I choose not to believe in ghosts. Do you not see what's behind us? <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Okay, so what I got from this about Captain Salazar. So Captain Salazar was a captain. He was noble until Jack Sparrow cursed him and turned him into, let's say, a ghost or slash undead. Okay, I've got this IMDB after all. Uh, so even though he is the undead, or let's, let's say ghost, get out of the way, I would think he would have an inherent sense of nobility. He wants to take over the seas, but he wants to take revenge on Captain Jack Sparrow. He's Jack's bogeyman, if you will. So I like the look of that. The whole kind of conflict there to the bigger conflict. The whole thing with, um, that's called the girl, okay? The, um, very similar to Kira Knightley. The bit of a callback to the first film. You better stop believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one! Second Mrs. Turner right there. There you go. 
Okay, that's kind of obvious. Um, Brendan Fraser, now I know who he is, does look a little bit like Orlando Bloom, who was, did not see in this trailer. But I like the fact this kind of captures the fun of the first film. I mean, the first film had some serious moments, but it was fun. And one thing I liked about um, Captain Salazar is every single decent villain in parts of the Caribbean has a sense of charisma. Barbosa had loads of charisma, okay? Um, David Jones, not much charisma, but some great lines. Blackbeard in the fourth one. I didn't like the film, but hey, he's, you know, he's the guy who played Lovejoy. He's got a bit of charisma going on there. So, yeah, he has charisma. Um, and there's, I like, I like his edge. And this just captures the funness of the first film. Just don't try too hard, and uh, hopefully it's going to be awesome. That's all I really, really hope. Here you go, see, that's my opinion on the parts of the Caribbean trailer. That's pretty much it. The son of YouTubers, take care. Bye now.